Hello friends, welcome back to the channel Data49. I hope everyone is safe. In today's video, I would be talking about how we can just calculate the number of hours worked in Excel with the help of simple formulas. So now you can see that on my screen, I have put it down login time, log up time, and plus on the basis of that, we have to find out the hours work. How we can just go about it? So we have to use the simple formula. This is kind of very important, you know, the calculation we need to be aware. How we can just get to know about that if you're working in workforce management call center or any of the company you need to know this calculation so you can have better understanding how you can calculate the hours worked for your team members and if you're working as a supervisor so you need to be aware of this so now let's start with the video now we can see that on my screen that i have put it down login time here log out time and on the, on the basis of that we have to find out hours work so first of all we have to find out the hours work so now you can see that on monday a person starting shift at 7 am and ending at 4 pm so it's on the same day it's a same day activity so the simple formula would be your bracket open this minus log of time minus log in time bracket close that's coming 0 0.38 but we have to convert that into one day format or hours so multiplied by 24 now you can see that 9.00 in case if we are getting that into any of the format in time format or in date format so we have to simply press ctrl 1 on the keyboard and then we have to change that to number format i hope that is clear after that if i just simply drag it down to all of the values so now you can see that here you can clearly figure out that on Wednesday, if one person is starting shift at 6 p.m. and ending at 4 a.m., so the timing is in negative. And the same goes for Thursday, and the same goes for Saturday also. So why this is happening? We have applied the correct formula, so the value should be in the positive. We should be getting the right number of hours work. But how come it's showing into negative? So to get to know that, and to overcome this situation, what we can do that we have to apply one formula with the help of if condition now you can see that here on monday a person is log in time at 7 a.m and log out time 4 p.m so it's on the same day activity right but if i just look at the wednesday a person starting shift at 6 p.m and then ending the shift on the next day so we have two days coming in so to overcome that we have to use the if condition formula so now let's start with the formula so the formula would be your if condition then your if log out time greater than your log in time so that would be your log out time minus your log in time bracket close comma bracket open else if this is not true so that would be your log out time minus your login time plus one bracket close multiplied by 24 hours so now you can see that i'm not getting any kind of values the reason because we have to be very careful and we have to be very mindful while doing calculation in the excel if we are not using the right number of brackets so the calculation would not be correct and there would be error in the formula so here we have to apply two brackets here the moment i hit the enter i would be having the numbers so now we can see that on monday if a person log in time at 7 a.m and ending at 4 p.m so there would be nine hours so after that i simply need to break it down and now the problem has been solved all the all the numbers are in positive i hope you like the video please subscribe and share for more videos thank you so much again for watching the video